Today I'll teach you how to calculate average and median while ignoring zeros or blanks in Microsoft Excel. Okay, so I have a data set here consisting of two columns, one column for the month of year and the second column for sales by month for each of these 12 months over here. Now, what I want to do is I want to calculate the average and median for this data set, but I want the formula I use to only take into account the cells which are greater than zero and also only cells which do not contain any errors. Now, before I do that, I'm going to show you what the normal average formula does if it's applied to this data range. So I'm going to type average and I'm going to put the full data range here. And the reason I'm selecting the full data range as opposed to only the cells which contain data is we want this formula to be dynamic. As you can see right now, some cells contain zeros. And this is, could be because this is the way it was retrieved from a database, or this is the way our Excel spreadsheet, our Excel report has been formatted. So eventually, some numbers are going to be inputted here. And we want those numbers to be factored into the formula once they're inputted. So let's see what the uh, average formula does. As you can see, the average is calculated, but this number is skewed. In other words, it's much smaller than what it's supposed to be because it's taking into account these zeros as well. And we don't want that. We have to use the average if formula. And that's as easy as writing average if and then selecting the range and then putting in the criteria within double quotations. So the criteria is greater than zero. Then I'll put my closing double quotation and then closing parentheses and then I'll click on enter. And as you can see right now, the average for this range has been calculated, but only for amounts greater than zero. So as you can see, the average for these numbers is 2340. But before, when we were just using the normal average formula, it was taking into account the zeros as well. And this average if formula is dynamic. So if another value is added to this range, the formula will pick it up. For example, let's uh, say I enter a um, sales by month for the month of July equal to 1000. As you can see, the average has now taken this new amount into account. So now that we're done with average, let's move on to median. But first, I'm going to show you how the median formula works, even without an if condition. So a median returns the middle value. For example, if we have seven values, it will return the fourth value. We want the median for this range. Now, this is the middle value, but it's also taking into account the zeros. And we want a median for only the values which are greater than zero. So we need to modify this formula. And this is going to be a little bit different from the average if. And here's how it goes. For median, we're going to write median, open parentheses, then we're going to put an if condition. We're going to select the full range. So that's our range. And we're going to put our condition there as well. So the condition is if it's greater than zero. And the second part of the argument after the comma is again the full range. And then close parentheses. And another set of close parentheses as well. And after putting in the last parentheses, there is still one more step outstanding, and that is turning this into an array formula. And in order to do that, I will click on Control, Shift, and Enter on my keyboard. And as you can see, now this formula has been transformed into an array formula. The median has been correctly calculated from this list. And as you can see, the median formula is a bit different from the average if formula. We need to put the if condition inside parentheses, and then we need to use an array for it to return only values which are greater than zero. And as you can see, the value return is 2465, and you can clearly see that 2465 is the middle value. In other words, there are exactly three values which are greater than 2465 and three values that are smaller than 2465 within the range which are not equal to zero, which are greater than zero. And this is how we can calculate averages and medians while ignoring zeros and errors in Microsoft Excel. I hope you've enjoyed this video. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and also hit the notification icon so you won't miss out on my future videos. Bye now.